Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is the Retirement Train Straight Talk with Mike. Hey listen, I'm gonna clarify one thing for the last time so we don't beat this poor horse to death forever, all right? And that is I made this self-made millionaire video, uh, retirement early kind of a concept thing, and uh, might've insulted a few people. And I don't, and, and again, like I mentioned on that video, I didn't mean to. Now, I'm not going to apologize for anything in the sense of what I've done to get where I'm at. But that being said, I want you to understand a few things and, and how I got here in retirement. Okay? I'm just going to clarify a few things and we're going to move on, I hope. I'm wearing my new polo shirt today. Mama bought for me some time ago. Just never wear all these darn shirts that she buys sometimes. She gets on these shopping sprees sometimes and I love her to death, but don't need them all. That being said... I joined the military back in 78 or 79, and you know my story, worked on a farm, etc. And you know, when you're young, some of y'all listen to this, because I know the crowd is normally around 50, 55 and up. But if you're young enough, and you're in your 40s and 30s and you're watching this, y'all can't wait to leave when you're young, right? Can't wait to get out of there, I need to try something new, right? Well, I was no different. Young man working on a farm, um, it's tough work and you wanted to see the world and just try something new, right? So I did join the Navy. Now I thought about the Navy for a long time. My father was in it. Grandfather was in it. That being said though, I knew at the end doing our research, even back then as a young 18 or 19 year old, I knew that I'd have a, a good pension or some form of pension back then by serving my country. So I, I thought that in my head, I said, well, you don't have much of an education. Well, I, you know, I got a degree after I got into service when I made some time. But that being said, getting into service was the plan. And I planned that out. Now, I also mentioned through my videos that you don't make a lot of money while you're on active duty. Now, some things are tax-free and so forth, like housing and so forth. But physical money coming into your bank account uh, is not a lot, especially when you're young in the Navy, right? So that being said, uh, I guess I got to stop saying that, that being said, but, um, you know, like everybody else, you got to put a lot of money away. That's what I did when I could, you know, when you're single, you can do that. I wasn't a big partier, you know, I had had my fun. I was like, everybody does, um, while they're young and so forth. It doesn't matter if you're in a service or wherever you're at, you just enjoy that. You're in a different mode. Your mindset's different. You're not focused on a lot of things. But I've always been kind of focused on the end state, right? In retirement, saving, investing, learning a lot about investing. Um, and uh, I'll tell you how I learned more about it in a different video, but it was an old man. He used to work for us uh, and at one of the barracks when I was running uh, some of the uh, uh, unaccompanied uh, housing areas for the Navy. That's another story. Anyway, so investing, saving, always been that way, like I've mentioned putting money in different buckets and so forth. And I sacrificed a lot too, not just time away from home and so forth, but part of that pension plan, and you do get a, a government pension from that, is because you do sacrifice. And I think some young man or somebody put that down in the comments, but you need to understand something. I've missed all the things that a lot of you have, have had, and that is time with your family and loved ones. I didn't have that. I was gone most of the time until later on in my career last five years or so but those first 10 15 20 years gone you're just gone that's what that's what's demanded of you you you, you signed on the line to protect and serve that's what you're doing all right so and that's called for overseas and other deployments and stuff you can't talk about here on, on YouTube but you do it all and it, and it it comes at a sacrifice just like a police officer does a fireman um, it's sacrifice, but at the end, they get pretty good pensions, most of them. And so does the Navy, or the military in general. And you get it at a young age. You collect it between, you know, depending on when you retire, but normally the latest is around 50, all right? Most folks get in for 20, right? You're 38 to 44 years old about. Average person gets their pension check in the military. And it's, you know, it's, it's not bad. Uh, probably not enough to live on fully, Probably have to go back to work, but you're not struggling, I guess is my point. But again, with that comes sacrifice. 
So anyway, during that time frame, I'm, I'm amassing my wealth, okay? And I get out, I join a little bit of civilian job for a year or two, was okay. Had a 401k, rolled that over. Then I got to civil service, rolled that civil service or that uh, civilian 401k over to the civil service uh, TSP plan and impacted that severely, meaning I put a lot of money into that because I had a military pension. So I've always lived on always less than what I needed in the military. So for instance, if I got a pay raise and I made, you know, E4, E5, E6, well, I lived always on the less, the last pay grade I lived on or uh, I made and put that other advanced pay grade amount of money into my investments or savings or, you know, Roth or what have you. All those things matter. And that's what I did. And it helped me get to where I am today. I'm not faulting anyone, by the way, of not having a lot of income coming in. I get it. Okay? But you got to plan for whatever you're going to do in retirement. It just You don't wake up one morning and, and, and you know, it's going to be there for you. It's not. The government's not going to be there for you. Okay? Now, you're going to get Social Security. Okay? That's probably a fact. But we don't know what it's going to be. It could change, right? They, you might get it later. You might get it, you know, uh, much later than what you're thinking you're going to get it. And talking to a lot of folks on here, a lot of folks aren't even counting on it. And that's good. I mean, I hope you get it. But I'm sure you'll get some form or fashion of Social Security. Um, but if you're not planning for it, man, that's even better, right? You're looking at other things. Now, I would say my generation is at fault here more than anybody else's. Um, we didn't save like we should have saved. Most of us now. And the millennials are going to be a little bit shorthanded too, but Generation X, I see they're really saving and putting money away because they realize that maybe Social Security might not be there for them or other forms of uh, government assistance. I'm just saying. Um, so you got to look at those things. Um, check out my next video. I, I did put one out. Some folks asked about it. I think I did it this morning um, about legacy planning, those sorts of things. I don't want to sound morbid, but that's a requirement in life. You got to think about it and how that all plays into your go, go, you know, slow go and no go years. You got to think about those things, but there's a video out on that as well. I just wanted to clarify that. Listen, uh, I didn't want to be rude or, or inconsiderate um, of other folks uh, predict or predicament or any situation you're in right now, I guess to my point. Um, and that's why I'm doing these videos, by the way, I want y'all to plan. I want y'all to have a plan. And the younger you are, the better, because time is your friend when you're investing it could be your enemy too, as you're nearing towards your elderly years. But if you're young enough in your twenties, if you're listening to this or your thirties, you still got time. Listen to what I'm saying to you now. You got to put it away now, y'all. Well, I hope that helped you. And listen, this is the retirement train. Straight talk. I'm going to be straight talking with you a lot. You might not like to hear about it the way I'm talking to you on the video, but I don't mean nothing by it. It's just the way I talk and get my point across to y'all. I hope you subscribe. If you don't, I understand. Again, this is the retirement train. Straight talk. Y'all take care. God bless. Straight talk out.